I have a look at this hour, Pikes Peak, America's Mountain, beautiful sun setting. A record number of people, by the way, came to see the peak this year. More than half a million people rolled through the toll booths on the Pikes Peak Highway. And the city of Colorado Springs expects that number to keep growing in the coming months. We so have Andy Cohen in studio with a closer look at the numbers and the closure of the COG Railway plays into this, right, Andy? It certainly does, Rob. The COG brings anywhere from 250 to 300,000 people a year to the summit. With it shut down, that's a lot of visitors who are taking a car or a shuttle up to the top of Pikes Peak. But the Peaks manager told us this growth trend, it started well before the COG closed its doors. October is a special time of year on Pikes Peak. We're just up here to see the pretty aspen colors. It's gorgeous. That's why we come this time of year. We always come this time, we never come in the summer. Even though kids are back in school and the temperatures are colder, there's still a line of cars waiting to get through the toll booth on a weekday. There was uh, a lot of people from different states. It shows you how popular America's Mountain has become. More than half a million people have already visited, a record number and up 5% over all of last year. We've had increases now the last four years in a row, uh, 15 to 20% each year basically, so it's been kind of exciting. A good portion of the growth is coming from the closure of the Cog Railway. The historic attraction shut down last fall and hasn't reopened. We know people did have questions, and so we wanted to make sure we addressed every one of those the best we could. Manitou City Council agreed to a deal this summer to give the Cog owner, Philip Anschutz, and the Broadmoor Resort a 50-year tax incentive in exchange for investing tens of millions of dollars needed to repair the railway. Like that deal was met with some skepticism at a town hall meeting last night. A 50-year agreement seems really long to me. And a lot of municipalities are raising their sales taxes. So I want to know what's in this agreement that might limit us. The city attorney stopped a petition drive, which tried to send the deal to a public vote. But the mayor plans to take this feedback and use it in a revised deal pitch to the Broadmoor later this month. In the meantime, the manager of Pikes Peak said that he can handle all of the growth. We think through the gates we can handle 600 to 700,000 visitors. And in addition, we're planning for 250, 300,000 with the COG. By the way, construction crews, they are building that new Summit House. They're hoping to pour concrete for the foundation later this week. They want to get it done soon because temperatures are starting to get cold up there. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks for the update. All right.